Let's talk about the problem. The customer problem that our solution is meant to solve in the problem box. Here, we have the list of few potential of problem that buyer of the product may have to deal with. First is the people want to buy unhealthy dessert. Second is the people have few options for healthy foods. So let's go to the existing alternative. This are the business that presented provide your target market service and solution. It also serves as illustration of your real competitions. So the customer can option for the coffee shops, food bazaar, and bakery. Now let's go to the solution is where more description for the solution is to provide. Here is the important thing about the solution quality of position in connection with the problem and to the customer. So the solution is to create a new healthy desserts. And now for the key metrics. Metrics of Double Delight contains key activity lists that allows the evaluation and to track the success rate of the product. The Double Delight includes sales revenue, net profit margin, lead conversion rates, uh, channel traffic, retention rate, and employee satisfaction. The sales revenue evaluates the product sales by gauging its performance in the marketplace, while the net profit margin is for its ability or the ability of the product to generate a profit. The lead conversion rate is the one that determines how many of the potential customers actually purchase the product. It includes uh, several affecting variables, such as the quality of the product, um, excellent sales staff, well-designed channels, the appealing social media presence, and the great customer reviews. On the other hand, the channel traffic is the one that measures the amount of visitors that actually checks the channel or the social media pages of the company or the product. This leads to understanding how people actually found out about the company or the product. The retention rate, on the other hand, is the one that evaluates the retention of the customers to the brand or the brand loyalty. Lastly, the employee satisfaction is the one that determines the employee satisfaction with the management for they are the most valuable asset of the company. This metric can be done through uh, the method of feedback and service. And now for the unfair advantage. With the product, the Double Delight has an unfair advantage in terms of range of target consumers. How? Because the dessert product is incorporated with ingredients that are healthy to be consumed by youngsters to late adulthood with no serious health concerns. In this way, the potential consumers or customers are much larger in terms of range in compared to the typical consumers of a sweet dessert. It is a great advantage for the sales of the products that would be difficult to be imitated by the competitors. At Double Delight, we believe that people should not have single flavor dessert after meal as it may fed people up from the sweetness of a certain flavor. Our unique value proposition lies in our thought of adding multiple flavors of Graham on one container for people to enjoy every flavor we offer or whatever they like without spending more money just to buy another container for a new flavor. We thought of flavors that will satisfy every taste buds and tantalize them with the combination of other flavors to please every person in the room. We also made sure that every ingredient used is as, is as authentic as possible to prevent possible and unpalatable taste from chemically produced product. At Double Delight, we want people to experience the convenience of our product that will fulfill the cravings of everyone and for them to indulge every bite of our product has to offer. As for our customer segment, we make it fall under both business to business and business to consumer to maximize our profit. Business to consumer because we are planning to sell our product for peace to people who want to try it out or just or just eat dessert after a meal. And business to business because we want to introduce our product to businesses that offer dessert so they can match it to their primary product. An example of this is a coffee shop where we all know that they not only sell coffee but also pastries for their customers to have as uh, to have as an accompaniment to their coffee. For our cost structure, we listed the following permits that are required to open a business and for it to function legally. 
We also added raw materials because this is where the majority of our expenses come from. So we now go to the channels of our venture. When we say channels, these are the mediums to be used to market our product and it will also act as our communication to the market. These are the following, we have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and referrals. Since Philippines is the Facebook capital of the world, we will use it to penetrate our product to the market. Second is TikTok since this is the hottest social media app right now in the Philippines. Let's not talk about revenue streams, how the business will earn money all throughout the venture. We see two things as of now, which are sales. First is retail where we'll start off selling and testing the market and check where we could improve down the road. And now the big picture which is selling our product wholesale. So saan or to where? So probably to coffee shops. So these are the two things that we project that will produce income for our venture business.